Hi, I'm going to talk to you about some recent developments in the timeline panel of Google Chrome's developer tools. We've been working hard on improving scalability and traceability while providing more details on recorded events. Let's see these changes together. First, we need to open up DevTools and switch to the timeline panel. We will then record a couple of events to see the new features of the timeline panel in action. I hit record, I reload the page, and then we stop recording once the site has stopped loading. The top area shows an overview of the events we just recorded grouped into three categories, loading, scripting, and rendering. The loading category groups all network-related events. The scripting category includes JavaScript execution upon various events. Finally, rendering includes CSS calculation and paint-related activities. The top area also contains a resizable sliding window. The center area has a list of records. These records have titles to the left and timeline bars to the right. Hovering over elements in the list or clicking on them provides you with details on the events. Expandable compartments on the graph visualize nested records. All this will help you to see what is happening inside the browser. In particular, with the timeline panel, you can understand which events caused your browser to work harder than others. Now I'm going to show you how to use the timeline panel to record and investigate a particular use case. We will begin by clearing the timeline panel using the clear button on the status bar. We'll then start recording by pressing record, and then we'll switch back to the page and generate some events. Once the recording ends, we will have another series of event records. In this view, you can see that the event record has a nested function call. That's because there's a JavaScript listener registered for the mouse over event. It's possible to see which function was called with the help of the details pop-up. This appears when you hover over the event or click on it. Clicking takes us to the resource panel into the very line that was called on the mouse event. If we go back to the timeline panel and click on Install Timer, Recalculate Style, or Parse, the Details bubble will have caller hyperlinks. Following these will show assignments to scroll top, inner HTML, or set timeout respectively. Now you know the exact line of JavaScript that made your browser do styles computation or parse HTML or set up timers. To summarize, the timeline panel gives you a look under the hood at how the browser does its work and what processes are more computationally intensive. This view spans both rendering and JavaScript, so you can better tune and optimize your web applications. To learn more about Google Chrome's developer tools, visit chromium.org slash devtools.